in the digital age, we must assure the citizen that their privacy online is safeguarded. Without that level of trust in the online world, people will shy away from it. And we won't achieve the digital transformation that promises so much. To build this trust, we need simple tools for those who don't want to be tracked online. Something that users can instantly understand, so they can easily make their choice. Do not track, or DNT for short, can help us get there. From such a do not track standard, I want to see in particular four things. First, it must meet the three principles I set out in June. Transparency, fairness and user control. Transparency, so users know exactly what the deal is. Fairness, so no one is forced into sharing their data. And with user control, so that people can decide simply and effectively what they allow others to know. Second, it must be rich and relevant. Rich enough to cope with our legal frameworks and the fast-changing technology and relevant enough to meet the needs of providers of digital goods and services. Providers who must in turn rely on the standard to be legally compliant. If they can't be assured of this, they will just look for alternatives and no one will take up the standard in the way we need. Not online providers, not developers, not users. And third, it must be flexible enough to work globally and adapt to different legal frameworks. So in Europe, it cannot ignore our e-privacy rules, even so other rules may apply elsewhere. When providers receive do not track signals from their users, how they need to respond may be different depending on whether the user is in Europe, the US or wherever. So the system will need to adapt flexibly depending on the jurisdiction in question. And that is a very important lesson for ongoing standardization work. And fourth, we need this standard soon, so we can lock in the benefit from an early stage. Do not track today is still an aspiration rather than a reality. And that is why I have called for agreement on a DNT standard by June of this year. I'm happy that work on this is proceeding in the World Wide Web Consortium, but we need to act fast to turn DNT into a reality for all web users. There will always be other ways to comply with privacy laws too, but if we get it right, DNT can become the standard way to do so. So good luck to those of you developing the standard. I will continue to follow this work closely and with great interest.